lecture i'm going to discuss what how to list name of employees that work on more than one project so this table we have and here you can see this is the employee table and this is the project table so we need to get here employee name that work on the more than one project so here you can see employee id one that work in three project two three three one okay and here you can see this is the e name so two tables is there so we need to do the joining or we need to do the interrelate of this table after that we can easily get here the name of the employees that work on more than one, pro one more than one project so let's uh, see the query so first here writing select a statement and selecting here e name e name after that here employee id employee id you can see and the next is here let's use of from and here employee so employee tab table e is the object that's creating and here the next is project next project is table and paste the object so now you can see employee enum that's come from employee table so we need to use here e then we can distinguish and here you can see employee id employee id both inside there so we need to use here this times p okay so selecting go employee id that's from employee uh, project table okay this is a project table this is the employee table after that now let's use here where clause so where that i'm going to use and here calling so employee id both are or uh, in the tables so here going to equate and here p dot employee id okay now if i run this query if i run this query here you can see e name and employee id that's selected same three times martin three times and others are there after that let's use here and operator and here e that call employee id so this should be in and thereafter writing inner query so inner query that's going to use here select and here or uh, from project project or table selecting project tables and creating the object p1 now here p1 that call so that call here employee id okay and then after making the group by so group by and here p1 dot employee id so this making on the group after making group let's use here filter condition for filter we need to use here having and having count a star from greater than one so here with the help of this query if i execute then you can see here one to that's display because uh, if i here you can see employee id 1 and 2 and if i run this if i run this query okay so here you can see employee id 1 and 2 is the duplicate okay so now employee id 1 and 2 are duplicate so that this inner query that written 1 now let's run this all then you can get here sam employee id 1 martin here too so this is the employee employee name that work on the more than one project so this is the employee sam and martin that work on more than one project if i run this query here you can easily analyze sam as the employee and here that uh, employee id one that working in three project two that working in three and rest of in one okay so if i run this query here you can get 
this is the list of employees that working on the project so one is the id sam three times three project two is the id t id and martin is the name then this is working three portraits rest of one and thereafter if i run this here in our query then you can get here one two so employee id one and two is the duplicate and here this is employee id in one if i in then employee id that's only in and here you can see this here employee id one that's three times two three times so this is the employee name sam and martin that's work on the more than one project so this is the way we can here get the name of employee that work on the more than one project in SQL Server. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.